All right, hey, what's up, guys? So today, let's talk about a way to carry your night vision. So um, we're gonna go through a couple videos of this. Uh, so this will be the first one of probably like three or four different ones. But I get questions on how to carry night vision and how to take care of your night vision options available to you. And this is one of them that I actually really enjoy, but also has a lot of different versatilities that you can use. So first off, uh, this is the Ape Defense uh, night vision bucket, I believe, or bucket in general. So um, uh, essentially just a semi-rigid hard case uh, with a little bit of foam that's involved in it um, to carry your helmet and its accessories all in one container, uh, which is one of the things I prefer if I'm going to take a couple different setups of night vision out to like the range or to a certain uh, event or anything like that. I like to have them encompassed in something versus just carrying a bunch of helmets and a little pouch full of night vision. So I, I like to have them all together in, in one setup. So if I take a rental unit to a class, I usually have the helmet in here. I have the night vision here. I have all the thingies. So then I can just carry it with me. It makes it a little bit easier to go through that process. Now, um, this Ape Defense bucket is actually pretty dang versatile, so we'll talk about a couple features. So, uh, like I said, kind of rigid or semi-rigid, also foamy uh, to an extent on the inside, but it is a big bucket. It has one big handle on the front end, uh, which gives you the ability to kind of carry it like a briefcase, um, which is good because carrying it like this is kind of awkward. Um, but it also has like this molly strip that goes around on the front front. I'm sorry, portions of the front because there's a handle and then fully on the sides. So you can attach like other pouches or other things like that if you really needed to or wanted to with a pouch like this or a container like this. So going on the inside, it, it zips open and kind of clamshells like this. So there is a lid with some, uh, space where you can organize things and kind of uh and and store stuff and then the big bucket portion here now the bucket portion um in this one i can carry my helmet fully like set up with no no removal of anything that's on my helmet and also uh just keeping my night vision folded in some form or fashion so my counterweight my light my mount and my uh, my ears can stay up on this thing and not have to be removed now on the inside, I usually put a divider right into here uh, or underneath it. And that's what kind of holds my night vision in place. So this pouch comes with this divider. So you can kind of divide the pouch up if you really needed to or something like that. But because I use the entire thing as a big cavernous space, I use the divider to actually wrap around my night vision. And then I put my helmet right on top of that. So. One, my night vision is easily accessible. I don't have to open anything else. I just have to rip Velcro a little bit and then pull this bad boy off, slap it on my helmet and rock and roll. Now, another way of doing this, and because this, uh, this bucket comes with a really thick padding that goes all the way around, you do have to tear that all out if you're gonna put a fully decked out helmet in there. If you're just gonna put a bare bones helmet or a smaller helmet or something um, less encompassing, you don't need to take anything apart off this thing. You can just slide it right in. Um, but if you are gonna put something with this much stuff on it, in here, you have to pull that divider out. And then what it does is give you some space. So when you do have it in here, there will be enough space in this thing that you may have to add. This is one of the uh, larger dividers that they have in this bucket. And I use that to fill a void so that my, my helmet's not shifting around when it moves. It stays in place and kind of gives it a little bit more structure. So that's what I use. Now without that padding in here, it still has a little bit of squish to it, right? So it does protect it still and it's still kind of semi-rigid. So it gives you a little bit uh, of protection through that. Now. On the back side of that uh, of this bucket area, there is like a thinner pouch, more for like paperwork, like your night vision specs. If you really wanted to carry those around and you didn't have a digital version on your phone, um, or like me, I use like lens wipes. I put those in here so my night vision and my eye pro can get cleaned um, and not have to worry about like you know fogging for the most part, uh, give or take some things because some environments are going to cause it either way. Now, uh, the top lid portion, this is pretty nice, and I, I thought this was pretty genius in the way that they made this because it's an overlapping kind of thing where there's Velcro on one end, Velcro on the other, and they overlap on top of each other and stick. But 
usually things would slide underneath that. Well, what they did was they created this kind of like this speed bump that Velcros into the top here and gives you some uh, rigidity so it doesn't, things don't slide back and forth between the top and the bottom of this thing. It's actually a pretty genius spot to put something like that. Now on the top end, I usually keep like lens assemblies or, or not lens assemblies, uh, like focus caps, like these tarsiers, and maybe even a uh, an anti-fog or something for anti-fogging. Um, I also keep on the bottom end, all my um, nutritional cookies for like energy. Uh, so there, there's that. And then you could put almost anything up there that's um, give or take this thick and also doesn't weigh too much where it's gonna unvelcro that piece and slide down. So um, so that's the, the eight bucket. Now, one of the other things that uh, you can use this for because a lot of people don't realize like, hey, why would I need that to just carry it around? Why wouldn't I just carry the bucket around? Well, so for one, it gives you some anonymity about being in a, or having a helmet with you. It just looks like a container, um, but it also provides rigidity to it. So if I threw this into a big duffel bag, or if you're a working man and have one of those truck vault style uh, drawer systems in your truck, um, if it fits this thing, you can put your helmet in there and now it provides a rigid case that has all your helmet accessories. And now when you have to like pull in at home and you're going to take all your sensitive equipment out, you can just take it all in one container. So now it's not like, Oh, I gotta grab this, gotta grab that or in a big duffel bag or something. So you don't have to dump it, dump it. You know, you can just go ahead and pull this out completely. And now it's also in the back rigid and not getting bumped around with rifles, handguns, and other shenanigans back there. Another use for this thing. So playing around with it, kind of seeing what the sizing gives me, the sizing was available or, or able to, this entire bucket will fit a thousand rounds of nine mil or a thousand rounds of 5.56 in their boxes. And why that's important and why not just dump them, John, because you can fit more when you dump them. But when they're all in the boxes, now I can take this entire bucket, put it in my duffel bag for traveling. And now TSA, when they're bumping around and trying to un, like they like to cut the tape on your boxes to go ahead and check to see that they're factory boxes in your duffel bag. So they'll inspect those things. Well, here they just unzip now. And then when they zip it back up, the, the ammo is now in a hard container, which also gives it some rigidity when it's bouncing around or the baggage handlers are tossing my shit. So this gives it a little bit more protection in that case. And also it's not a cardboard box that's gonna get smashed and then rip open and then drop up or open up one of your 556 boxes that are only like semi closed and let rounds fly everywhere inside your bag, which you'll have to find them all because if you don't and you can't find them and get good count, there may be a loose one in there that TSA will definitely hem you up over. So, or just if they notice it. So make sure that you kind of pay attention to that, but this gives me that ability too. Now, the other reason I like this thing or another way to use it is to dump all your ammo in here and you could use the divider to separate two sides and have rifle pistol ammo in here and go to a class or just fill the whole thing with pistol ammo and have a ton of class ammo for you. You could also just fill up all your mags, put them on one side and have them prepped with ammo on the other side. You can do a, a, a bunch of different things with this and, um, and keep it or use it for a bunch of different ways of carrying all that equipment or ammo and mags and things like that. So lots of different ways to do this. Um, mainly your only limitation with it is going to be the size of the container and your imagination. So playing around with things like this, it helps you kind of see those. And hopefully this fits a void in your needs if you're looking for something like this. And personally, like I, I like I like this setup so much that I'm going to get another one for just ammo stuff because this was cool to use that way. And it's great to keep helmet set up. So when I'm taking night vision for rentals or something like that in classes, I can set it up and put it into this thing. And now when the student gets there, it's like, here's your night vision for the class. Uh, don't lose anything. Don't break it. Right. And it's easier to like start passing things out or at least carrying them to pass them out. So they're protected and they're not uh, going to get bent around and uh, mashed. So 
Hope that helps, guys. Uh, like I said before, this is the Ape Defense bucket, um, and I, I believe it's called the bucket. If it's not, then it's on Ape Defense either way. Um, but essentially just a really good container for a bunch of different things. So hope this helps, and hope this gives you some ideas on how to do certain things and, uh, and apply or use something. Take care.